Hi, I'm Jeff Vogel with Buzz TV Network News. And this week in review, seen on Xfinity Channel 1098 Buzz TV on the Treasure Coast, going to 60,000 homes and businesses in Indian River County. This week in review, weathering the storm and hurricane preparedness, COVID-19, the fight goes on. Who will Joe Biden pick to be his vice presidential running mate? And finally, Sebastian News takes the spotlight. But first, we'll begin with weathering the storm and hurricane preparedness. Boy, we did luck out this past weekend. We, we started out with uh, what was going to be a, a tropical storm and that became a category one hurricane uh, within a matter of hours. At that point, uh, the, the Indian River County administrators uh, called a press conference um, and so they began the preparations well ahead of time uh, for this storm. Luckily for all of us, it uh, went from a Category 1 hurricane back down to a tropical storm. So we really lucked out weather-wise, but it was a great trial run. Uh, a great practice run for all of us, including the county administrators. As I said, they held a press conference, which Buzz TV Network attended, and we aired that press conference on Channel 1098 Buzz TV in Indian River County. And um, the, the press conference included the, um, the beach closing, the, the beach access uh, closures that would be taking place, uh, whether or not the bridges uh, going to the barrier island would remain open or not, depending upon the wind speeds uh, that we experienced here on the Treasure Coast. And uh, talking about evacuations, uh, manufactured homes, mobile homes, uh, possible flood zones, uh, east of US-1. All of these topics were covered um, at the press conference along with the, uh, the shelters in the uh, county were opened up, um, including a special needs shelter, which you are um, theoretically required to pre-register for, or at least they'd like you to pre-register for the special needs shelter. So you can go to the county website to do that. Um, and also the, there's a pet friendly shelter. Along with those two uh, accommodations, uh, they had set aside at both shelters uh, an isolation area, which, and the shelters, by the way, are at um, uh, area elementary schools, um, so the accommodations themselves are quite sound and safe. And they had set aside isolation areas at uh, the uh, evacuation at the um, shelter sites. Um, uh, isolation areas if anyone had uh, shown any symptoms of COVID-19 or had uh, shown up to the shelter uh, with a temperature, for example. And, and so uh, all of those things uh, were covered. And uh, I myself, I, I put up my hurricane shutters. Now that they are up, I'm probably just going to leave them up for the season the same as many residents do when they uh, head north in the spring, they put their shutters up and leave them up till they come back in the fall or winter. I may just at this point leave my shutters up. Um, they're up, they're sound, they're safe, um, and I, I don't look out the window much, so it's okay. Um, for me, that works, and that's me getting prepared. I hope you also took advantage of this trial run, this um, tropical storm that we just experienced. I hope you also took advantage of that to put together your own emergency hurricane supply kit. Make sure, if you didn't, that you do that now because when storms do come our way, often they change course, gain speed, lose speed, uh, become more or less dangerous in just a matter of hours. And there isn't always days and days to prepare. So you want to just, for this season, make sure that you're prepared um, and have on hand an, an emergency kit. Um, uh, plenty of water, a gallon of water for each person in the household is what they recommend. And uh, plenty of non-perishable food. Um, and if you have cans of food, make sure you have a can opener. 
<laughs> all those things will be of use to you when the real thing does come our way. But so far, we've had one good practice weekend, all of us getting ready for hurricane season. Don't go away. We're coming right back with more of This Week in Review here on Buzz TV.